Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star, okay? And I'm here with a message from God, okay? Y'all smiling because God has just been, okay? God told me to take the day off and do my nails, and now he's just giddy on my head, okay? But anyways, what's up with these messages? <laughs> okay, anyways, y'all. Okay, y'all. So... The message God said is, don't do it, okay? The scripture comes from Isaiah 48, 16 through 22. Come near me and listen to this. From the first announcement, I have not spoken in secret. At the, times it ha at the time it happens, I am there. And now the sovereign Lord has sent me endowed with his spirit. This is what the Lord says. Your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. If you had only paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like a river, your well-being like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would not have been like the sand, your children like its numberless grains. Their name would never have be blotted out nor destroyed from before me. Leave Babylon. Flee from the Babylonians. Announce this with shouts of joy and proclaim it. Send it out to the ends of the earth. Say, the Lord has redeemed his servant Jacob. They did not thirst when he led them through the deserts. He made water flow for them from a rock. He spit the rock and water gushed out. He split the rock and water gushed out. There is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. All right, y'all. This is uh, for somebody. You have somebody that you care about, you're friends with, and they are of the world this person is full of evil doing this person is full of wickedness you don't want to let them go god said leave them alone okay you thinking about hanging out with them god says don't do it god and it may be a situation where you feel like well if i leave what will i go what will i do and that was my y'all this was my exact situation when i left I was like, God told me, get in the car and leave. And I was like, and go where? What do I, what's next? And like, God was like, don't, don't you worry about that. You do what I told you to do. And as somebody that had to do this, like seriously in real life, if God is telling you to leave, you better not think for a second that God doesn't have a plan. And sometimes the plan is not what you want to do. Sometimes you have to, uh, you have to talk to, sometimes you have to go back places you didn't think you would ever end up. Sometimes you have to end up in situations you thought that you wouldn't end up in, but it's not a bad situation. You thinking about it as it's the worst thing that can happen, but in reality, you are going to be in a better position than you were in. God is going to remove you. From being around people that in a sense hate you. They have wicked thoughts for you. They don't love you. They have bad intentions for you. And God is going to remove you from there. And put you in a position to where you are around love. So I'm saying this to say for somebody. God is saying I have a plan for you. Don't do. Don't go through with whatever it is that you have been thinking in your mind. It's not meant for you to do that. It's not meant for you to be around them. It's not meant for you to deal with them. It's something, and you know it's wrong. It's something you know is not of God. You know it's not what God has chosen for you. You know it's not the path God wanted you to go down. You said he going down it for one reason or the other, and God is saying, please stop. There is no peace for the wicked. And as long as you are surrounding yourself with wicked people, you will not be able to receive the peace that you seek. Okay? And that is the message. Okay? Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.